guys we have made it to Prague and this is our third stop on our European Christmas market tour. This year we decided to have one of the most Christmassy Christmases we have ever had. We've been based in Australia for the past few years at Christmas time, which safe to say isn't your traditional Christmas. And so we're really craving a cold Christmas to remember and we think Europe is going to be the best place to get into the Christmas spirit. So far we've been to Budapest, we've been to Bratislava and our third stop is Prague. In terms of first impressions, it's definitely the biggest Christmas market. It's obviously a bigger city and can accommodate for more market stores. And it probably is maybe the prettiest that we've seen, just because it's so much grander in comparison to the others. But obviously with that comes a lot more people. So we are excited to go and try some old wine, of course, and some local Czech delicacies as well. So stay tuned because we've got lots to come. so shocked at how busy it is to the point where oh it's kind of ruining the vibe a little bit especially when we just come from Budapest and Bratislava where it's a lot smaller there was a lot less people and at least you could move around but to even get around the stands is proven quite difficult so it's a shame. At least the queue for the mulled wine is relatively short and not too crazy. Okay. okay. Um, Whoa! An example <laughs> of how busy it is. Here's Mom and Chanel. All right, let's try the more wine. Chanel. Huh? <laughs> but I'm sure you will get. Oh, it's okay. Huh? <laughs> oh wow. Okay. At least the more wine is fantastic. It's very strong, and it is much needed with how busy it is. Let's just keep trying. So guys, there are actually two Christmas markets here in Prague. We are currently exploring the Old Town Christmas markets, but stay tuned for later in the vlog because we will be exploring the New Town Christmas markets. And who knows, you may end up deciding that you may prefer to visit that one over this one. So naturally being a Christmas market, food plays a huge part of the experience here in Prague. There is so much choice and we found it definitely favoured the sweeter choices rather than the savoury. But some of the standout stores that were clearly very popular were the local sausages. Again, very popular in places such as Budapest and Bratislava. If you're looking for a quick snack, then the stands such as the potato chips were also a good option. This was also our first experience seeing snails being served up. But if you have a sweet tooth like us, then the freshly made waffles were definitely popular. Here you can choose different toppings and flavours. And if that's not for you, how about the churros? Last but not least, it wouldn't be complete without langosh. So because this is our third experience in Europe of langosh, it's really interesting to see how they kind of start the base the same, but then the toppings are slightly different in each country. So here in Czech Republic, they have a base of garlic sauce, like a garlic paste. And then they add a load of cheese on top, and then they add tomato ketchup and mustard, which is totally different to Budapest, where we've just come from. Super interesting to see how it changes just a little bit to each country. One tip if you are actually planning to come to the Christmas market is if you wanted to escape the craziness of the actual town square, you can come to the little bars and restaurants that surround the square, get a comfy seat and just watch the beautiful sights because the tree and all the lights are actually amazing. It's just a lot quieter on the outskirts of the square than it is in the middle. Yeah. Okay, and one more as well. The same. Thank you. It's the cheapest one we found so far. That's yours. Yeah, thanks, darling. Yeah, cool, bye. Bye. So this is actually between Wankler Square and the Old Town. Cheers. <laughs> smells amazing. It's hot, it's hot, it's hot. <laughs> oh, it's good. I tell you what, Prague is definitely serving the strongest mold wine we've had. I agree. Of all three countries. Woo. <laughs> so guys, we have now made it to the new town Christmas market. Now, rather than being a square like the old town, this is more of like a long laneway and at the end is a very, very picturesque building, which is 
absolutely beautiful. We actually passed this yesterday on the tram. So we're going to enjoy what there is to offer here. So far it seems like there are similar markets like potato chips, sausages in like a hot dog style, chimney cakes and of course mulled wine. So cheers. Okay. All right, we've got one chimney cake. We go that way. Okay guys, so we've got one traditional Czech Trudelnik, which is essentially a chimney cake, very similar to what we've experienced in both Bratislava as well as Budapest. Now, we went for the chocolate one, which was five euros 50, which again, is about the same price as the other places like Bratislava and Budapest. So, let's give it a taste test and see if it's any better than what we've had already. Mmm. But like, here, it's a lot more doughy and a lot more fresh because you can literally see them making it fresh in front of your eyes. Oh, very good. It's a good thing I hand sanitized my hands beforehand. <laughs> So guys, if you wanted our honest opinion in terms of what's better, the new town or the old town Christmas markets, we would have to say the old town Christmas markets. There is so many more selections in terms of what to eat, what to drink, what to purchase in terms of Christmas kind of souvenirs. Here at the new town markets, I'd say there's actually a quarter of the market stalls in comparison to the old towns. So we're going to finish our chimney cake, round off this evening. We hope you like this vlog. If you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more videos from us, hit that subscribe button. Cheers! So guys, we are currently in... <laughs> Prague! So if you didn't know, 